Hey, I thought I would make a short video and uh, talk about how to use the Stack Edit Markdown Editor. I'm just going to spend like two minutes on this and start from scratch and hope that it's not a train wreck. So the first thing you want to do is go to Stack Edit. There it is, the Markdown Editor. And we scroll down and read about it and they try to tell you all the exciting things they can do. On the left here, you can see an example of what Markdown looks like. And it's got a number of controls, which we'll look at in just a second. So the trickiest thing about this um, that's kind of cool. I didn't know we could use these little diagrams. That's kind of fun. I'm getting excited about this now. Let me go back to the basics here. So the trickiest thing about this is connecting your account to your Google Drive or your Dropbox account so you can save and open up documents. So you click on synchronize. I'm signed in as myself. That's my civilian name. This is Mark at school. I go by Eugene. Who cares? And you can synchronize your stuff with the cloud. What you can do is you can add a Dropbox account or a Google Drive account. Down here, I'm going to add one more Google Drive account. Um, that's the Google account that I use for my... Okay, so you can open things from Google Drive. Right? I've got two different Google Drives here. And you can have different uh, documents. So here's Learning Markdown for 3300. Um, I'm just going to uh, just do some simple little markdown things. So here's something, right? And if you look at this, you'll see the putting the asterisks around my text make it italic. Okay. Now uh, let's try something else. Like a conventional uh, word processor, you can just format stuff this way. If you look at this closely, you'll see they've got two of these little squiggly deals, and that's how you strike out or strike through. Okay, and then bold. is two asterisks on either side. I could also just go like this. See, the point is not to have to use your mouse and to do everything in plain text so that everything you write can be converted into other formats and different different platforms more easily. So it can be converted into HTML or into a PDF file or something else. So I could just, for example, type from my keyboard. And that's pretty easy to do. And someone's in the hallway. Okay, so here's a bulleted list. I'll just do it by hand. So that's pretty straightforward too, right? Um what else am I doing here? Hey, there's a heading. So, two number signs make a heading. Did not work. But if I go like this, and have a space after the two number signs, I know it seems kind of confusing and arbitrary. Let's try to use a single one and see what happens. Interesting. So a single number sign or crosshatch or whatever does that. Let's do three. So I'm just playing around here and figuring things out. And so you look on the right hand side, you can see all the formatting, everything looks all nice and cool. Um, a really important thing to do in Markdown is uh, create a link to another document. So That did nothing. Okay, so there's not a ch uh, 
there aren't internal links. I'm taking longer than uh, two minutes here, but let's do this. Let's see if we've got a URL, right? There's a the URL, we click OK, and then we enter the link description here. And there's the example. So let's create a link by hand without clicking on that, just to kind of reinforce it. Um, let me, I'm trying to think, okay, so here's, okay, here's a, just a website that's out there. It's a lot of links to all kinds of things. Okay, so the description's on the left, the URL's on the right, if you look over on the right hand side here, we can see how these links play out. It's kind of cool. So basically you've got formatting and you've got links, which will become part of your citation style, which we will look at, I promise. So I've already got a document in place. We'll talk about a style sheet for your, for your document, okay? For your final project. And there was one other thing I wanted to look at in here um, well, actually, there's block quotes. I don't really care about those. Let's get rid of those for now. We don't need to worry about block co quotes for now. And, uh, oh yeah, so once you've, once you've written your document, right, we'll just save the document on Google Drive. Uh, I don't have a folder ID. I'm not sure what that is. Or the file ID, we'll choose a folder in my Google thing, we'll choose this. I'm gonna put it inside this folder here and select. Oh, this is wacky. Okay, so anyway, and we'll click okay. And it should be in my Google Drive now, inside that folder. Um, I'm going to stop now, and, and I've taken longer than I planned on, but these are just some of the basics for, for Markdown, some simple things you can do. You don't have to use this stack edit um, editor. I just find that it's on, on the web, and it's fairly straightforward and simple. So that's all for now, and I'm going to stop recording and add some more information later. Thanks.